Scientists think the word mammoth came from the country of Estonia. Ma means earth and mutt means mole. People once thought mammoths were giant moles that lived underground because that's where mammoth bones were found. Mammoths were big. They grew 9 to 14 feet tall. This replica of a Colombian mammoth is in the Museum of Idaho in Idaho Falls. Fossilized bones of this type of mammoth were found in Owl Cave, about 25 miles west of the museum. Colombian mammoths weighed about 10 tons. Woolly mammoths weighed a little less. A fully grown mammoth had long tusks. Female tusks grew 5 to 6 feet. Males they were 8 to 9 feet in length. Tusks grew in layers, like rings of a tree. <coughs> Woolly mammoths had thick fur coats. Columbia mammoths weren't quite as furry. Mammoths ate about 700 pounds of grass each day. Their teeth were ridged and worn by eating plants. But they didn't worry if they lost a tooth. Mammoths grew five or six sets of teeth throughout their lifetimes. And how long did they live? If it was lucky, a mammoth could live 60 to 80 years. Scientists have studied mammoth bones for centuries, but one of the most exciting finds came in 1997. A nine-year-old Siberian boy and his relatives found some mammoth tusks sticking out of the snow. It turned out to be a complete woolly mammoth, bone, flesh, fur and all. It was trapped in the permafrost, or permanently frozen soil. Scientists transported the entire mammoth in a 26-ton block of ice to a special laboratory. They're now studying what the mammoth ate, what plants were alive on the earth at the time. They're looking at its fur, tissue, skin, and internal organs. They're learning lots of important things about mammoths, but haven't yet answered a very important question. Why did they disappear?